Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video, we are going to implement a refresh token and access token mechanism in the auth service. I mean, auth service is kind of complete. We need to just uh, do two things. First of all, access token and the refresh token. Like when you generate a token, we should return both the token and with the help of a refresh token later, you can get the access token. And then permissions and authorization authorization based on the permissions so these are the two things we are going to talk about authorization why we need it let's say you are a root user then you can create other admins you can fetch all the list of users but if you are just an end user you cannot access a lot of apis like let's say list of users you are not allowed to access it or uh, there will be other apis we are going to add which is let's say add permissions because in this whole system there will be one root user initially and that root user will create a restaurant admin the restaurant admin can later create their restaurant users okay but this root user needs to be bootstrapped so that he can create other roots uh, other restaurant admins and all and this is all called role based authorization once you are logged in what you can do is decided based on your role so we will create a role guard at the router level and then we will see what you can access okay access token and refresh token that's a important thing and for that what we are going to do is we are going to use like let's say it's a login or service we are creating tokens here so instead of creating one token we are going to create two tokens one is access token another is a refresh token and we are going to use two different secrets access token secret and refresh token secret so if you go to the config service first config service this is we can call it as a access token secret and there can be another is refresh token secret JWT refresh okay so we need to populate these uh, in our default config token secret auth is auth config here we are going to create uh, the same variable access token secret and refresh token secret These are the this is the default interface and inside the interface access token secret and refresh token secret is of type string and then we'll get these things from the env also these two values we are going to put in the environments this is our env jwt access and refresh so these are the two different tokens okay so in the config service now important part is how we generate these two tokens we already have our auth service inside the auth service wherever we are creating tokens we already know how to create a token right so jwt service we already have access instead of doing dot sign let's uh, write our code and we will refactor this first we are going to do to get the two token access token and refresh token together so we can just make it as a simple promise dot all this is an array inside this this we can call this the dot jwt service dot sign async because we are going to create a token asynchronously here we are going to pass arguments like this is the payload this is the signing mechanism and then another is this dot jwt service dot sign async this is the payload and this is the you will pass the expiry and the secret okay so what we are going to pass is user id 
and that is inside the uh, dot user id and if you want to add an email also i mean this is a payload right we can just pass this whole data object this data object and second argument is the secret variable secret is uh, here we can access the config service this dot config service we do have access want to get auth this is access token secret right and we need to pass the expiry expire in so here you can pass in 15 minute it's a string 15 and 15 minute okay similarly you need to pass the expiry for the refresh token it would be seven days seven d and uh, it will be refresh token secret so this is how you will get both the tokens and you can return them now what we are going to return i already have the data structure the data here and access token that you will get in the response access token and refresh token so just restructure it refresh token okay another important part is once you call this create token method from somewhere there, are, there is another thing you have to do is you, we will have the refresh token in the database also so let's go to user entity and here call as type string this is war care long text so don't specify the length it is uh, refresh token okay once you create the refresh token store that uh, refresh token in the database also so here we got the we got the token instead of returning first we will what we will do is this await this dot update update refresh token in the user entity to which it belongs refresh token we have the user dot id here this belongs to this or user.email because that is also unique and then what did we get data dot access refresh token and then we will just define this method private update refresh token here we will be using maybe user service because here this is a email is of type string and you got refresh token which is of type string and here we can call update this dot user service dot update refresh token by id some some method we are going to define id and oh, sorry email and ref token by email okay this is a sync function and this method we are going to define inside a user service this is email and reference email is of type string reference token is of type string this is simple you are just doing update but before even updating we will just create the hash version of it so what we will do is const hashed token because it will be a uh, long right await this dot hash data the reference token and here we can define this method which is hash data 
which will maybe we will add another module which is argon argon 2 cdx npm install minus minus save because we wanted to create a hash version of it so it will be a token is of type string and here we will return this the hashed version of it dot hash i think this is how we create the hash version of any token <coughs> okay so and uh, we need to update this the user also so this dot user repo okay how we do update let's see we can first get find one by email then fields to update and save that's it we can put the try catch and all not here here we'll put it uh, find one by email email dot to load case we got the user object and then save entity field to update what field we are updating uh, refresh token with uh, what value ref token it is complaining let's see this is an object okay sorry this should be a property this is an object and you pass it as a save entity okay hashed token refresh token is hashed token we are saving okay this works fine is it like i need to specify the types also what it is complaining So we can import the argon to is that is clear now so from auth service this is how it is going to happen this will update the refresh token and return the data we are good so when we restart the server it will check okay there is something new in the entity and the synchronization is for uh, true in the database in database service database module we put the synchronization true so whatever there is a new attribute in the entity it will create that column in the table coming to auth service again so this is how we are creating token returning it and we are updating the table also so we need to change one more thing because now we are using the jwt service dot sign in different way we need to command the auth module because here also we are passing it so we can just simply we can skip all these things JWT service dot four JWT dot module dot register. Yes, so this is we don't need to do a dynamic initialization right now. So inside auth module JWT service dot register and we can pass the empty object. That should work. Now auth service is creating both the tokens and returning it. We are getting it now. The important part is because uh, in the strategies currently we are using JWT strategy so it will also be different here we need to create access token strategy and refresh token strategy because there may be a request coming with the JWT token access token refresh token API will have a refresh token being passed in the authorization header so it will be access token JWT strategy let's say and this will be access token secret we don't need to change anything here there will be another strategy we are going to create is refresh JWT strategy. So just copy and paste it here. And why we need it? Because there will be another API endpoint which will accept a refresh token, not the access token okay we got the access key and secret key and here we will call it as a refresh token JWT strategy 
and we will update the auth module with these things okay we got both the strategies available now we will create a route because uh, the login is returning both the things both the token now in authentication in the controller we can create a refresh token route or refresh token route here in auth controller so we already have something like uh, sign in is there and refresh so here in the refresh we are going to use uh, instead of jw auth guard auth guard which is admin guard okay here the we are going to use uh, refresh token guard and access token guards guards will also change here so inside the guards so this guard is talking about jwt token guard so we'll create access token guard and we are going to use a refresh token guard okay access token guard will be simple similarly we are going to have a for try a refresh token guard refresh token guard and it will be jwt refresh okay and how to use it let's say let we can remove this for now jwt auth guard admin guard this we can use later for the rule based authorization we will create it later so access token guard and auth guard and how do we use it inside the controller we can put that inside the route component so here is our auth controller in the auth controller let's say we also how to use this right now refresh token api we will start using refresh token guard now we need to import these refresh token guard okay similarly there will be access token guard okay the refresh api needs a refresh token guard and let's say the logout you are trying to access one logout api the logout api does is it resets the user session okay for that we are going to use access token guard because if you want to log out then obviously you need to send a access token otherwise how would i know that uh, you are the logged in user so you can see the simple use case how we are using both the guards in different endpoints refresh token guard and in the refresh token guard we are going to do couple of things the api endpoint is refresh return this we are accessing the request so already it is using refresh token guard that means we already have the user object inside request and um, we need to do one more thing because here we got the user object which is which is nothing but the decode payload because in this strategy of refresh strategy we are putting the user object inside this validated jwt payload validate jwt payload okay we already have access token there because it is returning a user object and user object we are putting inside a request dot user so let's come to this controller auth controller what is request dot user whatever you are getting here in the refresh token this is the whole user object you are putting inside a request dot user through this validate function so inside auth controller 
this request dot user already has the refresh token inside it so if i just talk about console dot log whatever is the refresh token is already there user dot refresh token i mean there is there any type okay we haven't created type but this request dot user is of type user entity and then here we can call auth service Uh, let's do this because we need to validate the refresh token if it is really good one this dot auth service dot refresh token here we are passing user id i mean we can just pass the whole user object what's uh harm in this okay maybe refresh tokens so we are going to get inside auth service and auth service has this refresh token method and what it does is first of all it will validate that the the user id is correct all this inside auth service public async sorry for this yeah, i think refresh token what is the objective of this first we will need to validate whatever the refresh token coming from the client is the same as it's in database if same generate the new tokens for the user it takes uh, the whole user object is of type user entity and here we can get uh, two properties from here the id okay i think it's id and the access token that we are getting from user it's not coming user entity okay access sorry refresh token we got both the properties now what how we validate it if user is doesn't exist first we will do a database call for this id const user data okay and we can just call this dot await this dot user service dot find one by email and we'll pass the email also we can get from here let's say if email is not if this user is doesn't exist or deleted or something is there if user data is null we will just throw new forbidden exception we'll set the message later otherwise we'll just found a match is match found because this is a hashed version of uh, access token so this dot uh, how we do it we need to use argon2 argon2 dot verify i'm importing it here what was that uh, import let me see in the user service go to auth service we are going to use this for the validation await argon2 dot verify i think there is a verify method verify method takes two argument one is our refresh token and the refresh token coming from uh the user object so user dot refresh token and the refresh token which we have sorry this is user data right this data is coming from database and this user is coming from uh, the token after decoding let's say if is match found if refresh token doesn't match then it will we have to throw the same forbidden exception otherwise we are good we can get the tokens again so this dot get tokens what happened i am inside auth service this dot create tokens then create tokens takes uh, the whole user object we can see user object and it will just create the same expiry email password permissions expiration and we don't need to set expiration expiration is being set somewhere else so here create tokens and then 
we we generated a new token right so then in the same match we need to update this to the database update this dot update refresh token where was that method update refresh token we have an email id that is user dot email and we got a tokens dot refresh token oh man too much too much of all these things and the tokens this is returned as the new set of tokens okay so this is simple how we validate the refresh token once validated how we generate a new set of token okay so this is how the actually the refresh token and access token works and we have these two strategies that we have applied to the auth controller refresh token guard and access token guard so refresh token guard will actually decode the authorization header will validate the user through these strategies which are defined right based on the payload it will validate the user if yes it will put the user on the request dot user and then we will validate here so it's a logout for the logout you can just uh, set the refresh token null so this is what you can do refresh token simply logout and uh, inside logout what we are sending a user object let's create a logout and we need to define a type we are just sending a user with any that's not good and here public async logout and what it should do is here sending us the user object what we should do this dot user service dot update refresh token by email user dot email and we will set it as a null okay and we need to update this method if this refresh token is coming null then don't create a hash version of it if the refresh token is there then create the hash version of it if it is not there then just do this Oh, this is null and return maybe this also we have to return i mean it's a repetition we will refactor the code a little bit later because when you do the logout we need to set the refresh token null so even if you try to use the refresh token to access your resources you are you cannot because that user doesn't exist now the refresh token is null So here auth controller so we have these two strategies which we which are defined in these two strategies there is a refresh token strategy and there is a auth uh, so in the refresh token what we are doing is validate inside this validate method do we need to check this because uh, okay let me correct here it's a refresh token not access token with this refresh token uh, we really don't need to do all these things we just uh, send the payload so here we inside a validate we get the request object and the payload for the refresh token we don't need to validate in the database that user exists because in the refresh token that's a string we are, we are comparing that against the database so we can simply say is request dot get this is a simple validate method i think we can replace it with this request request dot get authorization replace bearer with the trim so this refresh token you just return it we are not going to do much with this or even if you do this let me just see this uh, because Let's say if you are sending a refresh token, that will still a valid, and that contains the payload. I mean, you can do. There is no harm here. You are actually checking if user exists for that refresh token, and you send the whole user object. Okay, let's see this running in the demo, and then let's check it how it works. <laughs> 